It is, quite simply, one of the most beautiful places on the face of the earth, Richmond Hill, Georgia. A place where children head out and explore the winding golden marshlands of the Ogeechee River. A place where faith and family are at the center of a community that boasts nearly 20 churches. Good try! Where the only thing better than Little League tryouts is being part of the team picture. Where people love their children, knowing first they're safe, and second, they've got one of the finest school systems in the state. Just ask Russ Carpenter, a Richmond Hill native who went off to college and found quite a surprise. I was in college, a uh, freshman. Uh, in a biology 101 class, and we, uh, and the material, you know, same thing that I had had in high school. Don't get too hung up on the controversial things. I want y'all to go through this whole list. And now, Russ is part of that excellent tradition himself, a teacher at Richmond Hill High School. That commitment to excellence began in the 1920s when Henry Ford built a vacation home here. Then, churches, homes, and schools. He even planted rubber trees to make tires for his automotive empire. Today, Richmond Hill is part of the burgeoning Savannah area business community a bustling urban port city with international reach, global impact, and a bang for the business buck on the bottom line. <laughs> well good, maybe I'll win. <laughs> Just ask Bonnie Proctor, a senior care services professional who convinced her company to open an office in Richmond Hill. So I begged, pleaded, whined, cajoled, and we finally opened an office here a year and a half ago. We've seen a 34% increase in referrals and I give the credit for that, having the location in Richmond Hill. Give me five. <laughs> the Civil War's Fort McAllister anchors Richmond Hill's robust tourism industry with 250,000 visitors a year, along with emerging ecotourism attractions like jogging, hiking trails, up-close birding sites, public bridal paths, charter fishing, canoeing and kayaking, all helping to support the vibrant local business sector of restaurateurs and innkeepers. Here you go. Uh, there's just a tremendous amount of extra space up top. Savannah-based developer John Reynolds looked to the industrial park north of Richmond Hill, handling growth now, and the coming new I-95 exit to the south, poised for growth in the future. I think you have the opportunity here to make any business plan work. Uh, you invest yourself into this community and this community will give back to your business. That's no Chamber of Commerce boast. John Reynolds moved his business to Richmond Hill. One of the things he's banking on? An unending supply of skilled professionals from Richmond Hill's next door neighbor, Fort Stewart. You got guys coming out of there that maybe are four year guys or 10 year guys or even you know 20 year Guys, I don't know that you could have a better place to go recruit a workforce than the opportunities you have here in Richmond Hill. Another source of opportunity, Richmond Hill's City Center, a meeting and banquet facility for businesses and events of all shapes and sizes. <laughs> Part of the bucolic municipal center, J.F. Gregory Park. With nearby City Hall, a jogging trail, birding sites, this is the home of what truly makes Richmond Hill a can-do community. Nothing underscores that better than the annual Great Ogeechee Seafood Festival. It draws as many as 35,000 people over the course of one weekend. Run by 150 people, all volunteers, the Seafood Festival has become a magnet for sponsors. One of them was exclusive engravings. So successful was the Seafood Festival for owner Chris Hartley, he moved his business to Richmond Hill. Alrighty. Thank you, ma'am. You have to be a part of it. Business has grown. I think we've found our niche. Uh, Richmond Hill is in my blood. I love it and I'm going to stay. You invest yourself into this community and this community will give back to your business. You have to be a part of it. <laughs>